Welcome back to Super Mario 64 with me, Matthew Caddies, Iggy Poogie. So we are going to go back downstairs and do a bit of racing against this big penguin. And this um, level is probably the bit of my existence when it comes to uh, doing um, at least the first ice world in Super Mario 64 because of, even with the Joy-Cons, how um, weirdly he controls because Mario can be sent careening off the edge just by tilting the controller the wrong way. Seriously, his momentum is all over the place. I think the only reason I didn't do... And the other thing is because of the shortcut. That trail of coins there that I just passed there um, leads to a shortcut. However, the... Um, the um, penguin here is one for sportsmanship. He does not like um, people cheating. So, yeah. Um, we have, we're going to have to play fair here. Uh, so, that being said, um, yeah... Um, so that means not making Mario fall off, not making him go down the, um, getting an unfair advantage over the penguin, and, um, yeah, he also bounces on his ass too much, but then, um, that's beside the point. Also, turning Mario into a toboggan doesn't also help either, seriously, even with the easing of movement there. Uh, after that one ridge, he just um, turns back onto um, what I can only describe as butt surfing. Seriously. And yeah, I always go over that edge! I don't know what is what is it with me and going over that edge of the, the ridge there, but it always happens. I don't want it to happen, but I do. I, I don't know. I think it's subconscious or something. Oh, I mean, he's in the side of the racetrack. Seriously. Yeah, let's go to my best run. And uh, yeah, where well, I'm close to the bottom because this is the same as slip sliding away, same area anyway. The other obstacle is that bit there uh, with the ice because I could easily fall off that way. And yeah, let's not do that. Let's not go through the door because I think it cancels the um, you getting the star and everything. So yeah, I want to keep Mario in the center there. And then what will happen is that the, the penguin will crash into the wall and waddle off. Probably um, feeling a bit concussed or something, poor penguin. Anyway, that being said, we've got our next star. Yes. No, we didn't. All we needed to do was not cheat. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that being said, let's go to the next. I think I actually go and fight Bowser next, which um, we'll get to that. Um, so, yeah. There are three Bowser fights in this game, um, each of which get progressively harder, of course. Yeah, and fighting Bowser gives us an item that will help us through get through the castle and everything. So, with this one, we actually have more than enough stars to open this door. I think it's about 15 stars, I, I'm not sure. It was, I don't, I'm just <laughs> collecting the stars, as I say. But, uh, you will see there that the, the peach, the picture of Princess Peach turns into a picture of Bowser, so yeah. Uh, that green um, block, don't worry about it for now. I say for now, because I'll be getting that power up later in the episode. Um, so that being said, let's go through here, past the flamethrowers. If uh, Mario uh, even touches the fire, he will start uh, running crazily and going, ha 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 ha! <laughs> yeah, seriously, I'm... <laughs> seriously, as a kid, I, I actually used to spam it just to hear Mario make that noise. Seriously. Probably one of the most cartooniest things I've ever heard in a Mario game. Though, maybe not as much as in uh, Super Mario Sunshine. But he goes, MAMA! <laughs> anyway, that being said, um... Um... Let's see. Well, those Sparkies are back as well. They stun Mario. Um, they don't knock him off the platforms, though, unless he's in mid air. Oh, he's on a small platform. Also, the Goombas are here as well. Uh, with these seesaw platforms, you want to wait until they go up uh, before you get them. Uh, there are also a couple of red coins, which I'm going to get a bit later, I think. Uh, because that goes towards one of the secret stars. 
And then let's go down the pipe and actually meet Bowser. Now, um, as I say, uh, because I am not playing the uh, Mario 3D All-Stars version, that means we actually get to hear the infamous So Longy Bowser line from Mario. Something he does not say in the Japanese version because, which uh, seemingly the uh, uh, that version is based because in, our, in, in Japan Bowser is called Cooper. Anyway, in order to actually hit Bowser, what you have to do is um, spin him around by the tail and have him run into one of these bombs, and that's it. Seriously, that this boss, even for first bosses, is piss easy. Not so much with later ones, we'll get to that. Uh, for defeating Bowser, we get a key. And said key can be used to unlock a certain door. And yes, it is only a certain door. It won't unlock the door that we saw when going up towards uh, the level Bowser in the Dark World. Uh, so we will have to actually um, go downstairs in the castle. So, in order to do that, we'll go through this door and then head downstairs here to quite possibly one of my favorite levels in the game. Not least because of the it, it remixes the underground theme. I think you know which one I mean. Um, so that being said, let's go around the corner and um, indeed not get Mario's ass torched. Yes, he can take damage from these uh, fires as well, uh, but there we go. And in here is the level Hazy Maze Cave. Oh yes. And this one, as I say, has one of the best intros in any Mario game. Uh, so where do I want to go? I'm apparently going off to the right, which is kind of iffy because I don't have a certain power-up. I will be getting that, don't worry. But for now, I'm going to long jump over the gap. That is done by pressing the R, well, in the thing, I think it's the button there. Um, also, I want to do a ground pound so I don't take too much damage. That's an always a good feel safe if you're falling from a great height. Uh, so, yeah. Down here, that leads to the toxic maze, which I'm not sure if I want to do at the moment because of the fact of one certain thing that I will need to get through there a bit e or to make it a bit easier without having Mario jump multiple times. Or maybe I do. I'm kind of indecisive here, aren't I? So, yeah. Another thing of note, the music does change when you're in certain areas. It, it, it changes from the underground theme to like this... Sounds like some, some weird music or something. Also, the first appearance, I guess, um, in this Let's Play, at least of the blue coins, uh, you can get up to at least 30 of them, and that will count as you getting the 100 coin star in each world. But uh, let's go over to this lift. This will take us upwards to the next area. And um, indeed, um, this above here is where we will find um, an area full of boulders and everything. However, you will see there in the distance another star. Yes, I'm going out of order here with the, with the stars here in Hazy Maze Cave. So what I want to do is have Mario uh, hang on to the monkey bars, and I think you have to hold down the A button, otherwise it'll fall off into the abyss. So yeah, and I will be getting the power up as I mentioned a bit later. But for now, I'm going to go up here and get this star. So yeah, fairly easy one to get actually. So yeah. So I guess I did want to hear some of the music anyway. Anyway, let's go back in, and I will actually go and get the uh, power-up. It's another cap, one of the three caps in the game. So, yeah, so I'm going to head off to the left here, and long jump over the gap. And here you have to be careful, because uh, there is a giant, as I mentioned, a giant hole in the ground. So, what I want to do is actually get Mario to go over the side. And there is a neat little trick you can do, because what happens when Mario is sliding in Super Mario 64 is that he can, for a few seconds at least, um, move normally. That is your cue to jump. Um, here we have some boulders here, seriously. Um, also, there's a star up there on the right, but I'm not going to bother getting it for now. Instead, I'm actually going to jump off this lift just to hear Mario go, wah. Don't worry, I'll get my health back a bit later. And head into the 
the be into the cavern where we will see another star but i'm not going for that just yet although you'll have to go this way to get that star so that being said let's go for a bit of a swim and um let's see then um find dory seriously this is her first appearance is uh, dory like before we uh stomp on her back which i don't know why i do that to to a rip off of the Loch Ness monster but never mind and um let's see i want to aim for not the main platform although uh, you will need to use her to do so um which will be which i'll cover next episode because i've kind of already covered the bit that you need to get to this area instead i'm aiming for these double doors here because that will take us to the next uh, to the power up we want to get here so yeah and um indeed um, into this uh, pit here well not pit this mysterious portal will allow us to get well our first appearance of the metal cap and yes that makes mario somewhat invincible to certain enemies such as these uh, floating sniffies or whatever they are they remind me of sniffies so that's what i'll call them uh, he can also walk underwater for a short period of time the problem is, is that Mario uh, does move very slowly underwater, and it, as I say, it's only a limited period of time. Um, for this area, um, the, there is a strong undercurrent in the water, so you want to be careful of that. However, the main prize to get is, of course, the switch in the main uh, part of the thing. You can actually see the big green switch. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, you know, this place looks very creepy. And there are also some red coins, two of which you can easily get there. And then the other two are right by the switch there, so that's already half of them. So that's that, pre that switch pressed down, and now we can get the metal cap in regular stages. So now I want to, um, uh, apparently, yeah, why not? Let's hear the badassery of the, the techno remix of the, uh, um, there I even see the, the invincibility theme, seriously. This is probably one of my favorite versions of the invincibility theme. More so than the, um, um, thing. Um, uh, seemingly. Uh, the star itself with the red coins actually appears in the water. So, yeah. Oh boy, am I gonna fall off? No, thank goodness I didn't. Okay, so I will get another uh, metal cap and go back through the water and move as quickly as possible, of course, because, yeah, that's going to be a pain otherwise. Um, but there's our star, and that's that. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye!